Good day, folks. Mark again for the Minif 4x4 on the Gold Coast. So I just want to run through another accessory that we have uh, with our heavy duty trays in our range, uh, whether it's trucks or utes. Um, so this is our 650 long uh, toolbox uh, that we can fit underneath the tray. So this is our um, more, most economical toolbox that we can supply. Um, one thing you'll like is uh, I like the black smooth finish. Um, gives us a very good look to the, to the tray and to your vehicle. Uh, so that's standard. Uh, so just to let you know, it's 650 long. Uh, and also what I've done, I've designed it to be the maximum width that we can to fit underneath your chassis. Uh, so generally I can get almost 250 in width, which is quite wide compared to most toolboxes that are on the market. Comes out pretty much flush here with your tray. Uh, and what I've done, I've designed it to give a re good recess here for your rope rail. So it still gives you room for your, uh, your straps and your tie downs and your rope. Uh, so there's room here uh, to still uh, tie off your loads in a, in a safe manner. We do the T-lock, uh, quite standard. They're probably the most cheapest version of a lock that you can get on the market. Uh, we do that just to keep the cost down. Uh, so that's a traditional lock. So we'll open up for you. One thing you'll uh, notice, um, I do prefer the side opening door. It gives you full access inside your toolbox uh, relative to folding them down. Uh, I know what it's like to have the staff and also uh, to get yourself to close your door. Obviously it can get damaged on the road and get ripped off. Uh, then you're up for more expense to replace it. So I find the side opening door works better. Um, and again, you get full access inside. Also we do, I always do a, another floor. Uh, just to segregate some of your items that you want to store uh, underneath, you have an opening uh, so you can put store extra rags or ropes or anything special that you want hidden underneath. Uh, and I've done a series of holes on the floor so we can add uh, dividers to stop things from falling over. Uh, so that's going to be a great option. This is also removable, so if you don't need it, that's okay. Just remove it if you've got higher goods, uh, that's no problem. So I'll just close it up for you. You can see the seal completely around, uh, which is nice and good for waterproofing. Lock it in and that's all good to go. The bracket, uh, most of our uh, competitors will give you a toolbox and that's the price, which is fine. And then you've got to work out how to mount it. So at m and uh, we've done everything, all the hard work for you. So I've designed up a bracket. I've got a series of holes through here. It marries up with pretty much most trays on the market today. So you can mount this up where you need it. And then also the toolbox will marry up with these slots. So you stick your toolbox up, slide it where you want it. Generally we slide it up against our mud guard so it looks good. And then you just tighten that off and that's all, and that's all finished. So that's it. So that's your, your black 650 long uh, toolbox. Uh, so it's all available here at m for one of your accessories for one of your uh, alloy tray bodies. Thank you.